Hello, in this video we'll be going through how to set up the AirPro FMT265 FM transmitter. First thing to do is put your car in accessory so that the 12 or 24 volt power will be available on your socket. When you first plug in the FMT265 FM transmitter, it will display high, then the current car battery voltage, then Bluetooth mode, and then finally the current FM frequency. To change the frequency on the FM transmitter, press and hold the FM button, like so, until the current FM frequency starts blinking. Then we can turn the dial until we're happy with the current selected frequency. It will automatically save and stop blinking after a couple of seconds. In this case, I have chosen 90.0. Next, let's make sure that the FM radio is tuned to the right frequency on the car's head unit. Since I've chosen 90.0 on the FM transmitter, I'll tune the radio to 90.0, making sure that I'm in FM mode. Next, let's pair with the AirPro FMT265 via Bluetooth using a smartphone. Navigate to the Bluetooth section, making sure Bluetooth is on and not currently connected to another device. When it appears, we choose FMT265. If all is connected correctly, you will hear a confirmation message coming through your car's speakers, like this. Bluetooth connection success. But don't worry if you didn't hear anything just yet. The volume may be a bit low. To make sure that everything is working, play some music on your phone. Making sure that the volume is turned up on your phone, then moving on to the volume of the transmitter, making sure it's about halfway, and finally the head unit. You should be able to hear music through the car's audio system. But if you're having trouble connecting to the FM transmitter, it's recommended that you unpair your device, restart your phone, and try this process again. Now would be a good time to test out the hands-free calling to make sure that your volumes are at good listening levels for both calls and music. When getting a call, you simply press the rotary button in to answer. You can reject the call with a long press and can redial the last caller by double-clicking the rotary button. Just bear in mind that you need to be on the same frequency as the FM transmitter, as it won't automatically switch when you get a phone call. The FMT265 also supports your smartphone's voice assistant. To activate your smartphone's voice assistant, simply hold down the central button in for a few seconds. Call Dad. Calling Dad. Mobile. The FMT265 supports Bluetooth, USB, and micro SD card music playback. You can switch between Bluetooth, USB, and micro SD card when installed by long pressing the previous track button. While music is playing, you can play or pause, skip a song, or go back by using the buttons on the FMT265. Alternatively, you can use the included remote control, which will give you even more control. On the side of the transmitter, we have a button that will allow us to change the color of the bezel. If you long press the button, it will turn off the FM transmitter. Pressing any button will switch it back on. This Bluetooth FM transmitter allows you to charge up to three devices simultaneously using an 18 watt capable Type-C power delivery port and two extra USB ports at 5 volts, 2.4 amps each. That concludes the how-to video for the AirPro FMT265 FM transmitter. If you'd like to know more about the FMT265 or other AirPro products, please visit our website airpro.com.